Hi, this is James from Blink Farm. Welcome to another tutorial. This time I try to tackle the iconic voice of Darth Vader, which I used in my video Star Wars The Union Strikes Back. I am your 11th cousin, one tree pool dropping in me. Now, I don't claim to have nailed Vader's voice. I'm pretty sure you need James Earl Jones to do that. So I'll tell you how I got as close as possible. I'll be using Cubase for the tutorial, but the effects I use should be found in most audio programs. So as long as you chain the effects together in the way that I show you, you should be okay. Tweak the settings as needed and summon the best of your dark side. Blah, blah, blah. First, you'll need to record your voice saying something Vader-like. I started with the famous line, No, Luke, I am your father, and spun it to fit my story. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. Once you've got your line, you'll want to pitch shift it down so your voice sounds deeper. Or should I say, deeper. Select the clip, then find your program's pitch shift effect. Make sure you have the preserve length or time correction off. Your program may have a different name for it, but it's essentially a checkbox that keeps the clip the same length after you process it. When you're doing the Vader voice, you really don't want to keep it the same length when you pitch shift because it can cause some artifacting. Mess around with the settings to lower your voice until you find something that works. You want your voice to sound lower, but not so low that it sounds ridiculous. I lowered my voice three semitones and got this. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. Next, I added a compressor just to even things out. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. Now comes the fun part. First, I added a ring modulator to give it a bit of mechanicalness. Is, is that a word? Me mechanization? Me mechel mechelness. I give it some mechelness. In Cubase's ring modulator, there's a preset, sore throat, that was pretty close to what I wanted. I tweaked the settings a bit, and I got this. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. I'll put a screenshot of these settings and all the effect settings I use in this video on Blink Farm's Facebook page in the photo section. The link to that will be in the description below. Not to beat a dead cockatiel, but your program may have different settings. The key is to start with the ring modulator, then tweak, 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 like a f***ing bird, till you close in on that touch of mechanical sound found in Vader's voice. Next, I added a cloner. I'm not sure if this is a universal name like ring modulator, but cloner essentially gives you the ability to create the sense of depth and subtle variations in tone you might hear when stacking two or three takes of the same line read on top of each other. Instead of reading and recording the same line two or three times and doing that stack, you do it once, then you add cloner, and voila, it sounds like you mix three line reads. The other really great advantage of cloner for this application is that you can screw around with the voices to make them sound inhuman, which is how we'll use it here. With cloner coming after the compression and ring modulation, the clip now sounds like this. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. If your program doesn't have something similar to cloner, try a chorus effect, and just push the settings to extremes until you find something usable. Next, I added a phaser. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, not that kind of phaser. I went for a very subtle amount of phaser just to give it a slight bit of extra mechanical maness. In Cubase, I used the resonant snare preset and I tweaked it as needed. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. Finally, Darth Vader's voice has a little bit of reverberance to it, as if his helmet is lined with reflective material, perhaps a mirror so he can see himself. I threw on my reverb and used the Room Remore preset, sort of a small, tight room, and then I tweaked it as needed. Tweak. Don't go overboard on the reverb. Just a touch to finish things off. Like a this. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. The original breathing in the films was done with a scuba regulator from what I read on the internets, and we know we can trust the internets. Now, I don't own a scuba regulator, so I just tried to breathe like Al Gore at a presidential debate. Copy your voice track, delete the audio clip, and bring in your breathing clip. Pitch shift it down a couple more semitones than you did for your voice. Go into the phaser and bump up the settings a whole lot. And shazakalakalaka, you frickin' Darth Vader, boy. Kinda. I am your 11th cousin, once removed, Robert E. Lee. Okay, not really. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to know when I do more, subscribe to Blink Farm.